and welcome back to the channel. So this is another uh, episode in my my root app series of uh, tutorials and this is lesson four and in this session I'm going to be covering some of the things you can do in the root shape point menu. So um, before I get started just to let you all know that I am not sponsored in any way by my root app. I pay for my own subscription, I get no money from my root app whatsoever, and neither is my YouTube monetized. At least it's not yet. I only have another 97 million years to go before I get there. So please do use the link in the bottom of the video if you've enjoyed in the in the description rather, if you've enjoyed this video and um, where you can buy me a cup of coffee. Be most appreciated. Thank you very much. Right, let's get on with it. So uh, what can you do in these in the shape points that I've previously called um, upside down pairs? But it doesn't really matter. It's th this looking points. There's things you can do with this, with these. So let me go and click on, I don't know, this one here, number 14. Let's go through these and have a look at what we can do with them. You can see I've, I've, I've actually named this one before to bollocks to Brexit because I'm kind of a, an anti-Brexiter. And if you're not an anti, if you are a Brexiter, no offence intended, but it's uh, my video and I'll say what I like. Um, so these root shape points, you can change them, rename them or add information into them is the first thing that we can do. If you find that you've got a line like this and not the rest of the icons you just saw when I was doing it, well, then you just need to click on these three dots for more options. And here you go. So here you go. I can click on this point here and I, this this icon with the T on it to give it more text and we can call it anything that we want. In fact, actually, you know what? I'm going to use a different root shape point just because one that I haven't edited yet. I'm going to know I'll use this one. So this one, as you can see, this one has the the actual address as to where the root shape point is, along with the longitude and latitude details, which you can use in lots of apps like Google Maps and blah, blah, blah. That's not going to change. So let's go through them. The first one, rename. So I can rename this from rather than having B158 Hartford SG138 United Kingdom, I can put uh, I can put I can call this uh, meeting uh, point my house if I wanted to. And if you look there where it says that B158 da 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 da, as I click OK, that in fact will change. Now underneath that one there is. A, uh, another one called notes and in the in I can add a note to this root shape point so this is really useful if I'm going to be sharing my route with um, other other people coming on my ride so I might put something like um, uh, let's stop here for a rest whatever we, we are going you can put anything you like in there and you can uh, and if you watch Again, this bit of an area here, as I click OK, it will say, there you go, let's stop here for a rest. The, um, I'm now going to go across to the right. The zoom button does exactly what it says it'll do on the tin, or the button in this case, click on zoom, and it goes and zooms in to the root, which is really handy for when you want to drag the bottom tip of your root shape points to the grey line on your root, which you must always do. I've covered that in a previous video. Here, this is just the waypoint colour. I have my start point as green and I have my stop point as, as red, just because it's easier for me to see. And I'm going to come to the start point and the reasons why in a minute. I'm going to skip past this one for a moment. I'm going to come back to that. It's a bit longer. This one is pretty obvious. Delete. You can go and delete it if you want to. Uh, this little button here that just shows less options or more options. Obviously, more options is, is better. Notes we've done. If you click this one, you can add this location to your favorites for when you're making new routes for later on. It's kind of useful to have. The go point. This is really uh, this is a really this is an important and overlooked one, in my opinion. Let me just go to my start here, my first point. Now, as you can see, I've already changed this to green and I from my, by using my waypoint color and you do the 
I'll just I'm flipping backwards and forwards here. I do apologise. Uh, there, by changing those colours around. Uh, the go point is important to set. It's important to set. It asks when you click. It says, "Are you are you sure?" And I'm going to say, "Yes, I'm sure." The reason why it's important to set is because um, when you I download this GPX file and put it on my Garmin device, uh, downloading GPXs, I've also covered in another video, and putting them onto your Garmin devices are going to be coming in another video. But it will ask you if you want to start and you navigate, you know, you use your your app and you, you want to start your navigatable route. It'll ask you uh, if you certainly if you've got a Garmin device, it'll ask you if you want to start at the start point, in which case it'll take you back to the start point if you're not there. Or it'll ask you if you want to start at the nearest entry point. So that's why it's a good idea to set the, the go point. Um, this one is a via point. This changes it from a root shaping point to a via point. I've covered the difference between via points and root shaping points in previous videos. Um, I'll see if I can put a link in the description below, but they are in the same uh, playlist that this video is in. This one, skip, um, I, I, don't, I never use it. I never use it because I think it's crap. Um, and the reason I think it's crap is simply because let's make this a bit bigger so we can see what's going on here. Um, simply because it, if you if you do that, it skips it and it draws a straight line from the way from the root shape point before it and the root root shape root shape point after it. So I'll just give you a demonstration. So if I say skip here, watch what happens. It then goes and adds in this straight line. Well, that I don't see the point of it, and I'm going to actually uh, undo that. By doing this um, so undo by the way is you can either press the undo button down here or you can do command and Z on a Mac or control and Z on a Windows or Linux based machine so I don't see the point in that perhaps if you do use it um, you could let me know by posting it in the comments below uh, I think I'm missing a trick there so please uh, educate me I don't know what that is and then the last one is adding a photo to your root shape put to your root shape point. I'm not going to cover that in this video because that is actually coming in the next video, which is lesson five. I've got that plan that street views and uploading pictures that's coming in the next one. So please bear with me. Um, so let's go back to the one that I missed, which is this one, find a hotel. This is kind of funky because if you're planning a route, you might want somewhere to stay. Um, I probably won't want to stay in the middle of in the middle of the countryside somewhere, but there's a there's a, let's go somewhere where there's a there's a few more um, places around. Let's just go here. So I'm going to click on this one, and I'm going to click on here. Find a hotel, and it's got a link directly with Booking.com, and you can go and put in your date. You can go and put in the star rating that you want. You can put uh, hotels by order, whatever. And you can go and click on search for hotels and it will kindly go off and search booking.com for hotels in the in the area for you i happen to know this hotel they've just recently done it up um, so that's a really funky um, thing to be able to use wherever you are and of course you can always drop a route shape point somewhere and um, and then ask it to find you a hotel so for example, um, this is South Mims. So I could drop a root shape point here. I could then, like so, I could then pop up to here and I could then say find a hotel and it will then go off. It remembers my last selection. It'll go off and it'll find me, um, it'll find me hotels in that area and around there, which is also kind of easy and funky to do if you want to use that. So in the next video, I will be covering, like I said, uh, this one, uh, and that's adding photos to your root shape points and using the the street view um, utility. So stick around. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, apologies for the ums and ahs, but I don't intend to edit the video. I'm just simply going to upload it as it is, mainly because I don't like editing videos. Um, please do subscribe um, uh, to the channel and give the video a thumbs up. I really would appreciate it. And 
if you do buy me a cup of coffee it's a big cheers from me thanks for watching the video i hope you found this useful and i will see you in the next one bye for now